Does everybody know what time it is? Tool time! That's right, Ben for Tools is proud to present... Space Rogue. This week, Tool Time is huge with lots of hot tool news. First, your updates for this week. Whisper Systems Tech Secure is updated again. It's on the Android market and has a friendlier key exchange. The Digital Forensics Framework is now at version .9 and it's indexed up at the Vulnerability Database for your convenience. Also at the Vulnerability Database, OpenDLP is now at version .2.5. It requires domain credentials, but will attempt to enforce against leaks using agents and a centralized management console. New Sparker Community Edition has been updated. Get it at Mavi Tuna Security. GR Audit, a static code analysis tool for PHP, has been updated to version 2 beta 002, and it's indexed up at the vulnerability database for your convenience. Hajiv, the automated SQL injection GUI, has been updated and is indexed at the vulnerability database. Wireshark has been updated, both branches of it. And Zap, or the Z attack proxy, is making moves lately and is trying to call attention to the fact that the project is actively maintained. Zap, like BERT Pro, provides automated scanners, spidering, and all the other stuff you'd expect from an intercepting proxy tool. Zap is a fork of Peros proxy and is up on code.google.com. That's it for updates, but there is one tool we've been unaware of for some time apparently. Dark Comet Rat 3.0 was released this week. Dark Comet is a remote administration tool. It's stealthy and runs on Windows 2000 or later. It's reportedly stable, function rich, and totally free. It's indexed at the vulnerability database. It's not often a new operating system comes along. New distros, yes. And yes, we've recently seen the Cubes OS. But now there's a second, or third if you count OpenBSD, operating system designed with security in mind. The Nexus OS from the CS school at Cornell is focused on moving as much out of the kernel into user land as possible. It reduces the size of the trusted computing base and uses various advanced mechanisms within the TCB to attempt to assure system integrity. It's still young, but you can find a link to the virtual machine and the ISO at the vulnerability database. Fuzzor is an open source dynamic scanning tool for fuzzing Oracle 8i and above databases. It will identify vulnerabilities in PL SQL stored procedures, but requires registration to download. The link is up at the vulnerability database or get it direct from Centrigo. H&N sponsor Spider Labs has released Yara Ruby, Ruby bindings for the Yara file analysis and classification library. Yara is open source multi-platform tool that allows you to create your own signatures to identify malware families based on text or hex strings present on samples of those families. And finally, Pate Vera is holding a contest. Design the splash screen for the next version of Maltego and win a free license. That's it for this week's tool, 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 tool time. Join us again next week for our salute to tool time. We'll be back with more H&N Cast after these messages.